Hello teachers, my name is Carla Calderon. In this video, I'll be sharing the template to this math calendar, which you can personalize and use multiple times. Let me show you how it looks. There's a total of 12 pages, which pages two to six you can edit, but not entirely. When you scroll down, you will see this page. I put it as a divider so that you know the following pages, A to 12, you can edit entirely. Before you begin making changes, make sure you make a copy, because if you see this view only, you won't be able to make any changes. Now that you've created your copy, let's begin. Let's begin by changing the month. All you have to do is just double tap and then type whatever month that you are on. Also, you can change the color. Just click this right here and then pick whatever color you would like. You can drag the day of the week to complete the sentence. You can also change the color. To fill the calendar, make sure you drag the shapes. As you can see, there is a pattern. Double click on the board and type the number of days we've been in school. Here's a place value chart. In case you want to type the numbers, drag tally marks or use the base 10 blocks. You can briefly talk about the weather or go to the next page. Here you can collect data about the weather, but don't forget to add the numbers to the calendar. Then drag the image that best represents the weather. Record the data on the graph table with tally marks and the number. Now it's time to count or identify numbers. For this activity, I think teachers, you already know what to do, right? But I decided to add a little twist and add this wheel. Yes, you guys know me. I love the wheel and I think the kids do too. So this will send you to another website in which I have type from number one all the way to 120. You can also shuffle the numbers. So don't worry. Then you just spin the wheel and whatever number comes out, you can ask the kids, oh, what number is this? And then you just go back to the chart and then you just find it on there. You can also use this rectangles to highlight the number that you want to focus on. On page five, you have all the pieces in case you delete one by mistake. On this side, you have one of each. And on this side, you have 30 of each layer on top of each other. On the next page, you have this working space, which we're about to use right now. I know you might be wondering, why are the numbers going backwards? But before I explain that to you, I want to show you that you can also change the color of the shapes in case you want to create another color pattern. All right, now let's look at those numbers. We're going to select all of them and then you're going to edit copy. Now let's go to our working space and here you're going to go edit paste. I'm going to just drag this down a little bit so I can see a little bit better. Now I'm going to click out of the slide so that nothing is selected and I'm going to select the first row from one to seven. I will now go to arrange, align, center. And this is going to put all of those numbers in order from one to seven. Now I'm going to select this and I'm going to move it to my right. Make sure you do it this way. So that way it stays in order. And we're going to do basically the same thing. So select them all, arrange, align, center, and then move it on the side to the right. And then do this again. Select them all, arrange, align, center. And just so that you see, look, the numbers are in order. Now I'm going to take this, select them all, cut, and I'm taking it to the calendar in which I'm going to go to edit, paste, and ta-da, I have this set ready for another month. I just wanted to show you guys this trick real quick because I don't want you guys thinking that, oh my God, I have to put one by one on top of each other. So this is the faster way. About the other pages, pages eight through 12 have the same thing, except that you can actually change more things around to personalize it. Like the background, you can pick a color, a picture. You can change the color of the calendars, the number chart, the days of the week, the shapes. You can add or delete buttons. You will be able to do all this just by selecting the item and then going to the paint bucket like I showed you before. In other words, you can give it your own touch. I can't wait to see y'all's creation. I hope you guys like this activity. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.